Hello student, I am your APD ma'am. Today we are going to discuss about the mechanism of the blood flow in the body. Now before going to the main topic, let's recapitulate some basic things about the circulatory system. Now the first one is the heart that is the pumping organ of our body and um, in case of human it's a four chambered heart there is two atrium two ventricles okay now the next thing is the blood vessels now artery and veins are present and artery carries the blood from the heart to the body and vein from the body to the heart and blood that is the medium which is important for the transportation of all the essential materials in the each and every part of our body now today we just uh, have a look about the aim of the circulatory system okay now let's start the first one is the delivery of food now after the digestion in the small intestine with the help of villi the digested food material are absorbed and after the absorption the absorbed food material is delivered to the blood and then it is transported to the each and every cell of our body for the energy production and all of you know that for the energy production oxygen is very essential and for that we have to involve the respiratory system so with the help of lungs and other associated components of the respiratory system the oxygen molecule which is present into the atmosphere is received and then at the alveoli it's exchanged through with the carbon dioxide molecule and then with the help of blood this oxygen molecule is delivered to the each and every cell of our body for the energy production and the next one is the delivery of the waste material and due to the uh, biochemical reactions of the cells many waste materials nitrogenous waste materials are produced and these waste material are delivered to the kidney our excretory organ for the elimination and the next one is the immunity now all of you know wbc or white blood cell is a very important component of the blood which provide the protection from the foreign particles and that is the defense system of our body that means the immunity power and the last one is the blood clotting with the help of platelets it's stop the continuous flowing of blood or release of blood from the damaged part of our body so in that way circulatory system or blood communicates with each and every part of our body okay but what is the mechanism of the blood flow now see here now at first see these two circuit okay now in that case see heart which is the important component of the circulatory system connects each and every 
body parts its lung it's the upper part of our body its liver its stomach its kidney and the lower part of our body so grossly heart communicates with the lungs as well as communicates with the all parts of our body that means here blood actually completes two circuits first one in between the lungs and heart and that circulation is known as pulmonary circulation and the next one is between the heart and the body parts and this circuit is known as systemic circulation so from the lungs oxygenated blood comes to the heart and heart pump out it and it's transported to the all the body parts and utilized for the energy production and as a byproduct we get the carbon dioxide which is received again by the heart with the help of blood and again heart pump out it and it's again communicate with the lungs for the release of the carbon dioxide molecules from our body so in that way blood actually communicates each and every parts of our body by completing the pulmonary circulation and the systemic circulation and this pulmonary and systemic circulation are collectively known as double circulation as here blood completes to circuit okay but what is the role of heart in this flowing let's see so this is lung this is heart having four chamber left atrium left ventricle right atrium and right ventricle and in between the left atrium and left ventricle there is the bicuspid valve and at the right atrium and right ventricle there is the tricuspid valve and heart automatically contracts and relaxed okay and this is the body so what happened uh, at first from the atmosphere the lungs with the help of other respiratory structures receive the oxygen molecule and that oxygen molecules comes to the alveoli where gaseous exchange takes place that means blood release the carbon dioxide and receive the oxygen molecules with the help of hemoglobins present in the rbcs so now the blood is oxygenated and this oxygenated blood through the pulmonary vein comes to the left atrium and left atrium fills up with the oxygenated blood and then the left atrium contracts and through the bicuspid valve blood flows into the left ventricle and at that time left atrium again relaxed and left ventricle contracts as a result a high pressure is generated and for that from the left ventricle the oxygenated blood is circulated or transported to the all parts of our body through our main artery known as aorta and after the delivery of oxygen molecules into each parts of our body 
or each cells of our body, respiration occurs and we get the carbon dioxide as the byproduct. And again, the RBC molecule release the oxygen molecule which is taken from the lungs and receives the carbon dioxide molecules from the each parts of the body or each cells of the body and after receiving the carbon dioxide molecules blood becomes deoxygenated and this deoxygenated blood coming from the upper and lower parts of our body through the vena cava it's come to the right atrium so after receiving the deoxygenated blood the right atrium contracts and at the same time right ventricle receives the deoxygenated blood through the tricuspid valve and after receiving the deoxygenated blood right ventricle contracts and as a high pressure is generated from the right ventricle deoxygenated blood is ejected into the pulmonary artery and that pulmonary artery connects the heart to the lungs so this deoxygenated blood come in contact with the alveoli and again the rbc release the carbon dioxide and receives the oxygen molecule and complete the circuit again so in that way this circuit is continued till death so in uh, in this way heart actually pumps or circulate the oxygenated blood as well as the deoxygenated blood and communicates with the each and every parts of our body okay now this is the another explanation of the double circulatory system so here this is the upper part of our body and this is the lower part of our body this is lungs so from the upper and lower part of the body the deoxygenated blood is circulated to the right atrium so after receiving the deoxygenated blood the right atrium contracts and it comes to the right ventricle and from the right ventricle through the pulmonary artery it's delivered to the lungs for the gaseous exchange or the blood becomes oxygenated and after being oxygenated the oxygenated blood comes from the lungs to the heart through, through the pulmonary vein. So, through the pulmonary vein, the oxygenated blood comes to the left atrium and then from the left atrium to left ventricle and then from left ventricle to the outer it's delivered to the all the body parts upper and lower parts of our body as well as to the lungs okay so in this way the double circulation is completed okay so Let's see a video on the double circulation. The pathway, the pathway of blood of flows, flows through, through the, heart. the heart. Oxygen poor Oxygen. blood from your body returns to the right atrium of the heart. Blood from your upper body returns through the superior vena cava. 
blood from the lower body returns through the inferior vena cava. As the right atrium is filled with blood, it contracts, the tricuspid valve opens, and blood is pumped into the right ventricle of your heart. When the right ventricle is full, the tricuspid valve closes to prevent blood from flowing back into the atrium. The right ventricle contracts, pulmonary valve opens, and blood is pumped into the pulmonary artery and to your lungs. The pulmonary valve closes to prevent blood from flowing back into the ventricle. Oxygen-rich blood from the lungs returns to the left atrium of the heart. As the left atrium is filled with blood, it contracts, the mitral valve opens and blood is pumped into the left ventricle of your heart. This occurs at the same time as the right atrium pumps blood into the right ventricle on the other side of the heart. As the left ventricle is full, the mitral valve closes, the aortic valve opens, the left ventricle contracts, and oxygen-rich blood is pumped into the aorta to reach all parts of your body. This happens at the same time as the right ventricle pumps blood into the pulmonary artery on the other side of the heart. The aortic valve quickly closes to prevent blood from flowing back to the heart. Meanwhile, the atria have filled with blood and the cycle repeats itself. So, this is all about the pumping mechanism of the heart. And <clears throat> this rhythmic contraction and relaxation of the heart is known as the heartbeat. And we can recognize it by the stethoscope. And so, this is all about the mechanism of blood flow in the body. Thank you.